Incest is a social taboo because it's a biological time bomb, leaving offspring with highly vulnerable immune systems. No wonder nature placed incest avoidance in the hands of a scent so deep that we're barely conscious of it. Evolutionary scientists believe early humans relied on the sense of smell much more than we do today. In ancestral environments, there's a lot of uncertainty about just how closely related you are to others. If people are living in groups where there are extended kin, then you could be fairly closely related to individuals who aren't even called your siblings. So detecting kin was not quite so trivial as just listening to who gets called your brother or your sister. How is it that people detect this information? It turns out that it's through body scent. Women navigate the dangerous waters of sexual reproduction, guided by male body odor. Smell steers women away from genetically unsuitable partners and towards ones who will give them healthy kids. Man smell generally repels, but the scent of a woman is something completely different. It has a secret and shocking role in sex appeal. When men are exposed to vaginal secretions of women, they will lose actually the ability to distinguish between an attractive and a less attractive woman. Men and women on the prowl play a game of cat and mouse, sizing up each other's sex appeal while trying to promote their own. The more common name for this game? Flirting. Um, not a bad flirt. Um, I say, well, I tend to smile a lot, so that happens. I play with my hair. Ah, I think I flirt with my eyes and body movements. I'm not the aggressive type, so I sit back and maybe try to catch some eye contact. Um, well, I have the long hair, so I usually toss that around a little bit and give my sexy eye. It's a game we instinctively know how to play. And nowhere is it played more urgently than at a speed dating session. I'm extremely strong like on the outside, but I, I need like an emotional support. Like, I would like to learn how to tango. Very strong. Is that where you went to school? I started with a